Hi guys, um, it's me again. I'm sorry if I sound a little rusty. I've been ill and it's still not getting go. Um, sorry, I'm not getting over it. Um, doesn't matter, really matter what I do, but enough of my illness. Um, I have a haul, and I have to say that one of the hauls that I have it was quite impulsive. It, I didn't mean to buy it, but I did. But let's start with what I mean, what I meant to buy. It's really exciting. I have the thing for Tim Halls, as you all know, if you've seen my Christmas videos and all that. Um, I bought some ink pads, uh, sorry, distress inks. Um, and I was really satisfied because it was kind of like a sale. Um, and I ordered in England. So um, here is what I've, what I've bought. Um, sorry, <laughs> haven't done in a video in, in quite a while, so I'm, I'm a bit rusty on that part too. But I bought aged mahogany. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really pretty, and I have to say that if um, if you if you look online, it doesn't always look the same as when you get it. And I'm really I'm really impressed by these colors. I really am. I bought antique linen. <coughs> sorry burlap and I have to say I think this is gonna be my favorite I don't know there's something about it and I really 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 like it and so for my part it's all about distress things right now yeah it's, it's a thing it's a must and, and and if it were up to me I was gonna have them all so I'm probably gonna buy them all because um, I really like them shadow straw is the next one that I bought and shabby shutters it's a uh, it's also a really pretty pe uh, pretty um, green, and I'm really looking forward to playing with these colors because they are so impressive. Unfortunately for me, I was a bit stupid um, a while back. I, I sold uh, my Tim Holtz Distress Inks. I had six and I sold them, um, but that was before I even knew what to do with them. So, I mean, now I'm a little bit wiser, but I had to buy Fired Brick again was one of the ones that I had that I sold and I'm kind of been kicking myself over that <clears throat> and brush corduroy which is also a, a really really pretty color and I think um, that that that's probably gonna be my next favorite color also um, and I'm sorry I really don't know what's going on with my voice but just so you know all paper was one that I really really wanted um, Regge, as my friend, hi Regge, um, told me to buy tea dye, and I did, and I absolutely, absolutely love the color, and I, I, I was kind of like, what about old paper and antique linen, so I bought the old paper one, as I just said, and broke in China, which is also one that I, I really like, but that was the colors that I bought from Tim Holtz, and now to my Ta-da! Impulsive buy. I bought the Ita Brad Maker, and as I said, it was impulsive. Um, but I found like a haul, a uh, haul. I found like they made like custom package that you can bid on on eBay, so I did, and it included this one, of course, the tool, and the large headset. Uh, of course, one of each pa uh, pack of the uh, brat daddies, small brat daddies, and got the medium one, and I got the large one, and I have a plan for these. Um, I was really, I, didn't, I really didn't know if I wanted to buy it or not, but I, it was kind of like a really impulsive thing, and it's always dangerous when you go on eBay, you have to bid on things, like, oh my god, I need to have it, and you just keep on bidding, and it's, well, that's just me anyways, I don't know if you guys have it like that, but for me, it's like, oh my god, I need to have it, they can't have it, so I'm bidding over them all the time, but these is going to be with my doggy. Not all of them, but I'm going to try to see if I can make a rat with her head on it. That that was in it. 
and of course this is the best part ladies the small punch was in the medium punch was in and the large punch which was also one of the reasons why I kept bidding on it because they're quite expensive for me anyways and two packages of stencils is this cool or what? But that really wasn't the main thing why I bid on it. And I got the paper, the all occasion paper toppers. And it's kind of like, I don't know if I can do it on webcam, but I love the princess line from Imaginus. All the little, I don't really know if you can tell, but otherwise just let me know. And I'll post pictures on it on my blog. I love the little animals. I have a thing for animals. Not the creepy crawlers ones, but doggies and cats and whatnot. This is the seasonal paper toppers. This is really, really pretty too. Especially, uh, this is probably just Christmas, all of it. Yeah. This is the Christmas one. Even there are some summer themes in there, but. I would say Christmas was the main theme here, even though there is a little bit summery. If you don't, guys, if you don't understand what I'm saying, I don't blame you because right now I'm just blah 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 blah. But that was another thing. So I got the eye top rat maker, and I got the distress things, which is absolutely the best, ladies. I have to say though, um. I've been meaning to write back to all of the ladies that subscribed and ladies I really appreciate it but I'm really really sorry I haven't been able to um, leave a comment um, on your uh, channels but I promise you I am on the get-go to, to keep up with that but to all the ladies that subscribed I'm really happy about it thank you so much and um, I have a question for you. If you were going to pick a tool that was going to be your top three that you can't live without, what would it be? For me, it would be my Fiskars uh, paper trimmer, which I have actually right here because I've been doing some scrapping in the living room. Um, and I would say my making, we are memory keepers corner chomper, which is the best corner rounder that's on the market, if you ask me. And the next thing would be my distressings. I hardly do anything without them, or actually I don't. I don't make a card, I don't make a scrapbook page without doing some distressing on them. And you know what? While I got you, I did some testing with the crackle paint. I put the pink crackle paint on it, just as a regular one. And I really hope you can see it. It's just really dull. Then I put some rock candy over it. And look at the difference. I love it. It was just a test, but I wanted to see if it made any influence on it if I put rock candy over it and of course it did duh why would Tim otherwise do it um but ladies please answer my question what are your top three tools to do uh you, that you have sorry uh when scrapbooking okay and next time I'll pop up some questions for you also. I just like to see what's on the market and what makes you tick in scrapbooking. For me, it's definitely distressings right now. I don't know what's going on with me, but I love distressings. I wouldn't live without them. I wouldn't do without them. So ladies, be safe and please answer my questions. Bye.